I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you application questions on rate of change. The question here is the length of a rectangle is three times its width. The width is increasing at four centimeters per second. At what rate is area growing when the width is 20 centimeters? So always begin with a sketch. It could be a rough sketch, but it helps. Here's our rectangle. Length of the rectangle is 3 times width. So my width is W. Length will be 3 times W. The width is increasing at 4 centimeters per second. That means rate of change of width with time is 4 centimeters per second. The units will tell you what exactly it is. Centimeters for length or width and seconds for time. Dw dt is 4. At what rate is the area growing? So we need to find the growth of area when width is 20. That is the question, right? <clears throat> now, that really means I have to relate area with width. So we can write area is actually length times width. And since length is 3 times width, we can write area equals to 3 times width times width which is 3w square, right? So we get area as a function of width. Now let's do differentiation with respect to time because we want implicit derivation to be done. So d dt of area equals to d dt of 3w square. So that gives us da dt equals to 3 is constant, okay? w square gives you 2 times w dw dt. So we have an expression here which involves dw dt and that is what we are interested in finding. right? So let's rearrange. So what we get here is dw dt is equal to 3 times 2 is 6. Let me write here 6w dw dt da dt right okay so dw dt is 1 over 6w times da dt now when the width is 20 at that time we need to find the change in width what we are given that width is increasing at the rate of 4 centimeters per second oh no we actually wanted to find change in area. Oh, so no need to rearrange. Sorry. We know dw dt. We have to find da dt, right? So now we can straight away find. <coughs> Let's take this formula back. Correct. So what is da dt when w is equals to 20? Let's substitute the value. We get 6 times 20 times dw dt is 4. And that gives us 80 times 6, 8, 6, 480, right? 480, and the units are centimeters per second. Right, right. So we had to find da dt. We already have this expression. Substitute the values and find your answer, right? So that is how you could actually solve such question. I hope that helps. So we'll take a few more examples involving geometrical shapes and then distance and time rate of change. This list will prepare you for your test on this unit of calculus. Thank you and all the best.